Hi, Sarah here from the Organising School and today I'm talking about digital photos and the benefits of using rating and tags to easily identify your photos. Now the reason that you may do this, you could have favourite photos that are dotted across multiple albums and you want to be able to easily drag them into a digital frame or create a printed album or maybe a, a presentation you're helping create a presentation for somebody's birthday or wedding anniversary. Perhaps you want to easily be able to bring up all your Christmas photos, Easter photos or the time that you went on holiday to a specific destination or you simply want to be able to identify who's in the photo. These are all great reasons of why you would use tags and ratings in the properties of a photo. Normally people would just um, save a copy of the photos that they want to use in a new folder but this means that you end up with multiple copies of the same photograph and it gets really messy so this is a much better alternative. So to do this, I'll just show you how to do it, I'll come out of here. Once you've imported your photos over to your computer, there is meta information that comes across with each photo. So this is automatically saved, depending on your settings, you'll have things like date, location, but there's also that um, additional information that you can add in ratings and tags. So the way that you see it is in the property of each photo. So if you click or highlight one photo, you'll see down the bottom here, this is all the properties for this photograph. The other way to do it is to right click, go down to properties, and then there are four tabs. And if you select details, you'll see at the top. Now you can also add title, subject and comments, but today I'm just concentrating on ratings and tags. So you'll see this one has the word dog and Rocky. We're in an album that I've created for my pets, Jesse and Rocky. So when you are looking at creating tags for a photo, you can use a keyword or phrases and you separate them by adding a semicolon. Be um, very careful when you're doing this. You want to be consistent with the words that you use. So think about whether or not you are going to use singular or plural word. If you are putting somebody's name in, are you going to use their nickname or their full name? Just remember to be consistent. And if it is a person, then um, I highly suggest you also add their last name because that will help if you want to bring up one specific person. So you simply type in the tags or the key phrases that you want. So I can see that Jeff is also on this photo. So if I click OK, that has saved those tags onto that photo. A great uh, reason for using this bottom tags, they both do the same, a uh, property, sorry, they both do the same thing, is that you can save multiple tags you can put a tag, sorry, on multiple photos all at the same time. So if I select all of these, I can then, if you look at the bottom of the screen, type in the word dog and then click save. And that tag has gone onto all of those photos and it's just put them to the top there. Same with ratings. So I decide that that is a five star photo then I can just, you'll see them go yellow and I could have picked one, two, three or four or five. And remembering when you use the bottom properties to select save. So now when I want to search for photos, I can, if I'm searching for a specific tag, in the top right hand search bar, if I type tag and colon, Oops, sorry, colon. you'll see it goes blue, that's important. Then put in the keyword, that is also blue, and it's brought up all the photos that have the word dog in it. But now let's say I just want to bring up photos 
that have my um, dog Rocky in it. See, there are three photos, but maybe I don't want the photos with Jesse in it as well. So if you want to exclude a word, you write tag again, colon, and either the word not, and then your keyword that you don't want included, so not Jesse, or you use the minus sign, so minus Jesse. And you can see in the selection that I've just got photos that have Rocky and my word dog in it. So the same goes for ratings. If you type in the word rating, colon, you will get a selection of all the different stars. So if I then select five stars, I'll see the two photos that I have um, added five stars to. So I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, you can pop onto my Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash the organising school and ask any questions and I would be happy to help give further information. Thanks.